subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Python requests tutorial, checking status codes, 2xx, with code examples. Introduction In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use the Python requests library to make HTTP requests and check the status codes received in the response. Specifically, we will focus on status codes in the 2xx range, which indicate successful responses. Requirements Make sure you have Python installed on your system. You can install the requests library using the following command. Step 1, import the requests module. To get started, import the requests module in your Python script or interactive environment. Step 2, making a simple get request. Let's make a simple get request to a hypothetical API and check the status code. In this example, we use the JSON placeholder API to fetch a post with ID 1. We then check if the status code is in the 2xx range to determine the success of the request. Step 3, handling different 2xx status codes. Sometimes, you may want to perform specific actions based on the exact status code received. For example, a status code of 200 might indicate a successful request, while 201 could mean that a new resource was created. In this example, we make a POST request to create a new POST on the JSON placeholder API. We then check for specific status codes, 200 and 201, and print different messages based on the response. Conclusion In this tutorial, you've learned how to use the requests library to make HTTP requests and check the status codes in the 2xx range. This knowledge is crucial for handling successful responses in your Python applications. Feel free to explore more features of the requests library for handling different types of requests and responses. ChatGPT